job, and I think the garden clubbers will love seeing this. I, this is another award winner of our, we, we won a state award on this. This is a downtown Hattiesburg redevelopment project by a private individual. They, they bought off all the land on two sides of a street and uh, mostly on their own redid this, uh, all the buildings. I should have put a before in here. It was, it was horrible. It was the worst thing I have ever seen. And uh, this, this is uh, soon after it was done, and this is maybe a year ago, but you can see how what we did with the streetscape and these crepe myrtles are now hanging over the cars. I mean, it's just wonderful to go down the street now. We created this little pocket park and this, on the master plan, that whole piece of property is a, could be a future building because if, if times were such that the economy, you know, was that we could, the client could put another building in there, we could do that. But it's become a very uh, popular place in downtown as these live oaks are now covering, it's totally shaded now. And this is a little close-up of the detailing we use. The client found this, this is an antique fence they found, and we had enough of it to do it around there and create this little pocket park. And seasonally, it's decorated, uh, just a wonderful little space. Detailing-wise, uh, another favorite thing of mine, if I have to use concrete, is I call it wet scored, or uh, you just use a tool and you create a pattern in the wet concrete. Uh, and as it weathers, it really looks it looks really nice. But they, the, back in the 70s, or they did a redevelopment project in downtown, and they had this design with a brick, but they used exposed aggregate, which was really bad. And uh, we've we've talked the city into doing this design in any new stuff downtown, and it works really well. It, it uh, detailing wise, it works really well, and people love it. It patches better. If you know in cities when they come in and have a tear up exposed area, it looks terrible to repatch it. This is a a, a little spa garden. It's, this is my my favorite job I ever did, and it's it's hard to understand how far we came, but it's just a little area half as big as this auditorium with a spa, and uh, this is another one of my son's sculptures that's an angel, uh, totally different than the gargoyle. This is really peaceful looking with a waterfall, and I use the same guys to do this dry stack bluestone, and this is, you can't see in this picture, but it's a uh, bluestone paving, a spa, and all these are tree form augustrums, so it just creates a, a it's, it's an oasis just to walk in there in a hot summer day and be cool. Uh, I think these are the last project I'm going to talk about. Believe it or not, this is a this is an after Katrina on the beach in Past Christian. Uh, amazing, amazing. Worked on it five years, and uh, last spring we had a pilgrimage tour, and that's probably what these pictures are from. But the uh, through the axis of the house, uh, I'll go ahead. And this last picture is. The other end of the axis uh, is stopped by this uh, pool or tennis house, and it goes. The axis goes through, and that's the the Gulf of Mexico through the house. And these are these were existing crepe marbles on the property. Uh, this property probably had five or six feet of water during Katrina, and we went in right after Katrina, and the client had not bought the property and bought it after Katrina. And we worked on it. This is a 200-year-old live oak tree. Um, the house was remodeled and added to, and uh, just a wonderful project. Here, uh, we used a sugar kettle fountain, and these the client uh, loves all these different elements, and so we created all these different rooms in the back. And uh, this is like a a magnolia room over here with this feature in the center and the, the 
live oak is obviously a feature on that side. This creates an axis this way and the long axis is this way on, on that part. But we created all these different rooms and we were able to, to utilize those crepe myrtles and move them around. Uh, a lot of new brick work. All the sidewalks are, are real brick here. And then looking toward the back, uh, we have room, a different room here, a play area for the grandkids over here. And then the, the detailing of the planting uh, on this. Uh, tennis courts hidden back here behind a lot of different plantings. Uh, most of everything, or everything on this is brand new since Katrina. So uh, the detailing and all that is just, it, it's been amazing to work on with, uh, with a lot of different clients. The uh, thing I'll leave you with is, uh, as I mentioned before, the, I, I think the team that I have, uh, it's not the same team every time, but we try to put a team together with an architect, a builder, uh, a lighting guy, the landscape contractor, paving guys. Are, we, they're usually not, unless it's like brickwork, it's part of the general contractor that we work with. But we put together a team, and that's the way I've been able to uh, put together my projects and that, I'm, uh, that I feel really good about. The other part of the team is, I call them the young guys that work with me and uh, guys and gals that work with me. And I've always been the type of person, I, I may have a vision, but it's those people sitting on the board or on the computer trying to help me come up with their ideas, the client's ideas, and my ideas that we put together and we end up with these beautiful projects that we do. Appreciate your time. Appreciate uh, having the opportunity to come here and visit with y'all today, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my projects in South Mississippi. All right, folks, thank you, Tom, very much for a, a great presentation. We're going to give you a break right here and give you like 15 minutes. Uh,